I want, please, Mr. Stan, if you can read one word from the Bible. I think it's Johannes 16. Ingen kan komma till fadern utom genom mig. No one can come to the Father except through me. This is what Jesus said. Yes, I wanted, you wanted to know what Jesus had said, and I will tell you that. Your question, please. But at one stage I didn't know that hearer means gentleman. I had learned it from the Bible that hearer means God, Lord. So I'm seeing Dharma, I guess it must be dames, ladies. But hearer... <laughs> toilet for gods in South Africa, toilet for gods. No, there are no toilets for gods. Gods don't go to toilets. It was at the end of the historical debate entitled, Is Jesus God? between Sheikh Didat and Pastor Stanley Schoberg, that was held in Stockholm, Sweden, where this lady came up at the question time. It seemed confusing, because this woman came to the mic not for asking a questions, but to issue her statement, and then, she immediately left the mic without listening to Sheikh Ahmed Didat's answer. Uh, Mr. Didat, yesterday you said it was different between numbers and uh, uh, Jesus said that me and the Father, we are one, is the first I will say. And uh, today you said that you respect Jesus, you love Jesus, and you believe what he said. And uh, I want, please, Mr. Stanley, if you can read one word from the Bible. I think it's Johannes 16. Ingen kan komma till Fadern utom genom mig. No one can come to the Father except through me. This is what Jesus said. Yes, I wanted, you wanted to know what Jesus had said, and I will tell you that. Your question, please. Uh, I will repeat what I understood, that uh, with regards to the divinity of Christ, that Jesus is God, I was asking the pastor, to give me an unequivocal, unambiguous statement by Jesus that I am God, worship me. And thank God, he didn't succeed. But now the lady, very fairly, she's asking a question, if I understood it correctly, that Jesus did say, I and my father are one. That was the first statement, was it? Where's the lady? She's, I and my father are one. Now, it implies that if he is one with God, then he is God. That is what it sees, seen on the face of it. I says, you know, sister or pastor, this quotation is in John chapter 10, verse 30. 10, 30. Where Jesus says, I and my father are one. He said that. I'm asking, what is the context? And believe me, I have asked DDs and priests and reverends and pastors and predicants. I'm asking, what is the context? Meaning, in what sense did he say that? And in the past 40 years, I haven't come across a single learned Christian who, without opening the book, can give me the context. He has not been able to give yet. What is the context? So if you see it in the context, it's not what you're thinking. In the context, we must see verses, not take them out from the context and say, look, the man said this. In what sense did he say? What was he trying to explain? So in the context, as it started, with John 23, 10, 23. And you read there, it says, and Jesus walked in Solomon's porch, meaning in the temple of Jerusalem. Then came the Jews round about him, meaning they surrounded him, and said, brandishing a finger in his face. How long does thou make us to doubt? If, the, if thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Insinuating, alleging that he's talking ambiguously. If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. So Jesus says, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. 
neither, verse, that was verse 28, verse 29, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. I and my father are one. This is the context. In other words, if once a person accepts faith, God sees to it that the person remains in faith, and I as a teacher, as a master, as a, uh, uh, I see to it that the person remains in faith, we are one in this, to see that the person remains in faith. Not in his omnipotence, not in his omniscience, not in his what? Knowledge, nothing. He's talking about the oneness of purpose in seeing that the believer remains in faith. But the Jews were looking for trouble. And when you are looking for trouble, you find it around the corner. You don't have to go very far. So the Jews, verse 31, the Jews picked up stones again to stone him. So Jesus says, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? So they say, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. Kufar. Because that thou being a man, makest thyself a god. That is the charge. That you are now claiming divinity. For that you deserve death, according to the law of the Jews. What does Jesus say to that? If he was God, he has an opportunity to say, look, if I am God, what else can I say? You ask me, are you Muslim? I, I said, look, I'm a Muslim. I have to say, I'm a Muslim. I don't know what you're going to do with that now. What do you want to do to me? But you say, are you a Muslim? I say, I'm a Muslim. If Jesus is God, then he should say, if I am God, what else can I say? But he didn't say anything like that. He said, is it not written in your law? He's sarcastic. The law means the Torah, the first five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. In other words, he's quoting from the 82nd Psalm. The pastor has already made reference to it. From the 82nd Psalm, he said, I said, ye are gods. It's a quotation. If he, God Almighty, called them gods unto whom the word of God came, means the prophets are called gods in our scripture. This is our language. This is how we talk. Like in a court of law, in an English court, they say, me lord, me lord, who? The magistrate, the judge. He say, me lord, me lord, my lord, my lord, is he your lord, is he your god? No, no, this is your language. You talk like that out of the sake. Me, Lord, me, Lord, means my Lord, my Lord. You don't mean God. That's your language. In South Africa, the word for God is here, hot, and here, the Lord, here. Ek, ek is the here, I, I am God. And you go to Cape Town or any other place in the cities and you find there, it says there, Signs, when you go to the toilets, it says, Dharma, Hira. Dharma means dames, ladies, and Hira means men, gentlemen. But at one stage, I didn't know that Hira means gentlemen. I had learned it from the Bible that Hira means God, Lord. So I'm seeing Dharma, I guess it must be dames, ladies. But Hira... Toilet for gods in South Africa? Toilet for gods? No, there are no toilets for gods. Gods don't go to toilets. But this is the language. So Jesus is telling, look, in our language, people are called gods, and you find no fault with that. Why are you finding fault with me when I say, I'm the son of God, which is a lesser expression than calling a person a god. Moses is called a god. The devil is called a god in the Bible. And the Jews are called gods, that ye are the ch children of God and the children of the Most High. Ye are gods and the children of the Most High, 82nd Psalm. So in other words, this is our language. We talk like that. The godly person, we say he's a god. He doesn't mean god, he's a godly. God, instead of saying godly, he's a god. This is our language. Why are you trying to find fault with me? No, there is no, no idea there but conveyed by Jesus when he said, I and my father are one, meaning he is God. Thank you, sir. Then about that other verse, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. That was the second one. Yes. Ah, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He says, I accept that. You see, Jesus Christ, what you, when you read that, I think it's John chapter 14, 
start from verse chapter 13 and you read there and each and every expression the Jews misunderstood everything the disciples misunderstood Jesus is telling them that I'm going to prepare a place for you in my father's house there are many mansions if it was not so I would have told you and whither I go ye know you know where I'm going and the way ye know they say Lord we know not whither thou goest and how can we know the way they misunderstood they misunderstood Jesus is talking about God and about spiritual matters and they think of geographical locations what Stockholm Oslo <laughs> what's that he's thinking about geographical places he's talking about spiritual matters so they said look we don't know and how do we know the way misunderstood so he said look I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me it was too heavy for them that was too heavy for them so they say again Philip butts in he said look all this what you are talking is too heavy for us we don't know what you're talking about you're talking over our heads just show us the father and it suffice at us show us God that will give us satisfaction enough so Jesus says Philip you have been with me for so long why ask us thou show us the father if you have seen me you have seen the father and they misunderstood again it's a continuous series of misconceptions so Jesus is telling them ye of little faith ye of little faith how many times and he explains to them as I'm explaining to you now like to little children and they can't understand so he said I even yet without understanding and when he spoke further he said oh faithless and perverse generation telling his disciples oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall I be with you how long shall I be with you I'm saying that if he was a Japanese instead of a Jew he would have committed the honorable harakiri suicide he starts the that Леш курши мислимер и джихоне суеден, ма би стана по Саудит Арабиен, по Сириен, леш худжи и джихоне. Леш суеден фи масари, фи хъбъс. Леш, мис, you have to ask your question in English. Йо, не, суеден. По араби мосте вет. Леш курши и джихоне, леш. Sorry, мис. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, please keep the silence. Respect that this is the last question. Thank you for your patience. Sorry, miss. If you want to ask your question in another language, if you could get somebody to translate you, thank you. Sure. Is that your question, Miss? Is that your question? Silence, please. Thank you. We will not allow the answer unless there is peace in this room. Take another question. Can we have? somebody to come and present this question for this lady thank you please silence from all the rest excuse me it's not a question according to the subject we will see we will see Ask the next question. This is, we have to remind that this is not a political meeting. We will have to respect the question of the lady, but we cannot accept it as it is not belonging to the subject. We will ask for next person who has a question to Mr. Ahmed Idat to come forward. Thank you. Please remain silent. I ask you kindly. Please, next question for Mr. Didat. And everybody, please pay attention. We have but a few minutes to go. I appeal to you, sisters and brothers, to please keep calm for the next few minutes. Thank you.
Next question for Mr. Didat, please. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir, thank you. Please. Please. Sisters and brothers, please, we are matured people. We are sitting here in the church hall. It is a hall of worship, the house of God. I appeal to you to please keep calm and please reflect this calmness in your outward disposition. Next question, please, for Mr. Didat. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, my English is not so good, but I hope you understand me. You said, I'm sorry, you said that uh, our God, he, he goes to the toilet, he eats, he sleeps, he does as I so and so and so. Okay, what about your gods? What, what do you know? I don't know anything about the God. Maybe he does that. And what about your God? It does that or not? Do you know? Have, have you been in heaven before? Tell me that. And one other question, please. You said, listen, Silence, you said God. Please. Silence, please. You said, you said, please. Please, you said, my goodness, you said, the question, hello, you please. said God, you. do that for the Christian God, goes to toilet, God do, do that. Okay, what about God if he made mistake? He made mistake or not? Because the Shia said that the prophet must be for Ali, and the Sena said the prophet is Muhammad, and so God makes mistake too. Will you, thank you. Uh, sister, can you understand? You are, if you understood, I would have understood. I don't know. I haven't understood a thing. Okay. Please. I think. Here comes the translation. As far as I understand the question, she said, can God make a mistake? Is that what it is? No, the answer is God does not make mistakes. Sisters and brothers, ladies and gentlemen, both the speakers have presented their arguments to you. The decision is therefore yours to decide as to where lies the truth. You, brothers and sisters, be the judge. It is a matter between you and your creator.